right in our today's video we were talking about lens transposition so you change the lens from one form to another so basically you'll be talking about spherosal okay and you were talking about cross cell whenever i say spherosal i mean a sphere and a cylinder component but when I say plus cell, I have two cylinders. So an example of a spheroid cell is, let's say, plus 2 combined with minus 2 axis 180. This is an example of a spheroid cell because I have the first thing here to be the sphere part of the prescription. And I have here the slender part and then with its axis. This makes the lens a spheroid cell. But whenever I say a cross cell, that means I have two cylinders combined. So an example can be plus 2 axis 180 combined with minus 2 axis 90. I have a cylinder here and I have a cylinder here. So these two lenses or this lens is known as a cross cell because I have two cylinders crossing. So whenever I have a power with an axis, a power with an axis, this form is a cylinder. So I have here two cylinders so this is a cross cell and this sphere with no axis and with so, um, a cylinder with, so with an axis so i have a sphere cell so in lens transposition we are going to change from spheroid cell to cross cell and probably from cross cell to spheroid cell so let's go so let's transpose from so here spheroid cell or spheroid cylinder the same thing spheroid cylinder to cross so to cross cylinders that's what i mean so for example in an exam we are giving transpose the following transpose the following sphero cell or sphero cylinders okay sphero cylinders into cross cylinders so how do you do it so let's say i give an example plus two combined with minus four Axis 180. So yeah, this, this is a spheroid cell. A spheroid cell. You are asked to transpose into a cross cell. How do you do it? Now the first step. This is a, it's a sphere. That means that all the meridians are having plus two. So quickly, I'll just draw my power cross. Okay. And plus, this is a cylinder. So 180, 90. So I'll, I'll draw the meridian at 80 and 180. So this is a sphere. So spheres are having the power at the same meridian. So I'll write here plus two, and here two plus two. This is a cylinder. The cylinders are having axis meridian and power meridian. So here the axis meridian is 180. That means that the, 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 the power there is zero. So at one, it's minus four as is 180. So the minus four will be at 90. So minus four here, and the axis is zero. That means that the, the, the power meridian is at 90. And the axis meridian with the where there is no power is at 180. And so I'll combine them and I'll have plus 2 plus minus 4. That will give me minus 2 because plus 2 plus minus 4. Okay. That will give me minus 2. So I have minus 2 here at 90. And here plus 2 plus 0. That will give me plus 2. So I have minus 2 at 90 and a half plus 2 at 20. So I'll write individual um, powers with their own axis. So here we come minus 2. It's around it's on 90. So the axis will be perpendicular to that. So minus 2 axis 180. Okay, combine it. Here's plus 2. We have plus 2. It's on the power is along 180. So the axis will be perpendicular to that. So the axis will be at 90. So plus 2 axis 90. This is a sphere, is a slender form of this sphere cell. So the final answer for transposing sphere cell into a cross cell, this becomes my answer. In that case, what it means is that plus two combined with minus four, x one eighty, which is sphere cell, the cross cell form will be minus two combined with uh, so minus two as one eighty combined with plus two, axis ninety. Let's try another example. Example two. The same from spheroid cell to cross cell. So it's for another example. So minus minus two combined with 
minus 4 x is 35 okay so we are, this, is, this is fuel cell because I have a sphere, I have my cylinder. And I'm to transpose it into a cross cell where I have, I have two cylinders. So in this case, what I'm going to do is that this is sphere. So because this is 135, I won't draw it like the 90 ohm, the 180, 90 ohm. So here, so it's like if this is 90, this is 180, okay. Um, so let me see 45. Now, First five will be somewhere here, okay. So here for, 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 for the sphere, I will just draw because the powers are the same meridian. So we have here minus two, minus two. Combine it here. It's the same thing, the same thing as doing this one, the same thing as doing this one. Oh that here is 180. Here is 90. But because this one is not 80 and the 90, I cannot I, I cannot write them here. You understand? So 45 will be somewhere here. So perpendicular this will be somewhere here. So because this, the first one, the first one is sphere, it's all the same power along all meridians. But here, minus 4 axis 45. That means that the axis here is zero. And for the power will be on the power perpendicular to that. So if, if I add 90 to 45, I'll get 135. So that the power will be somewhere around here. So minus 4. Now my final answer. It's when I come out, minus 2 plus minus 4. That will be minus 6. And then minus 2 plus 0. That will be minus 2. Okay. That means that minus 6 is on the um, 135 meridian. And then minus 2 is on the 45. So if I want to write my prescription, so I have minus 6. Okay. Axis. Because it's on, 30, it's on 135, so the axis will be on 45 because you take 90 from it. So the, it is, the power is on 135 because here is 90. Okay, so the power here is um, one, minus 6 on 135, but the axis will be on the perpendicular um, um, meridian. So with the 135, I'll take 90 from it and I'll get 45. Combine with this one is minus 2. Okay, but the power is on, is on this line. The, the 45 line okay so if i want to add meridian i will add 90 to the um uh, 35 okay and for the sorry the 45 and i'll be getting 135 so this is the final trans uh, transformation for that so the uh, for the zero so minus 2 combined with minus 4 axis 45 if i want the cross cylinders having two cylinders i have minus 6 combined with 45 um uh, sorry as 45 combined with minus 2 axis 135 that is that now let's look at cross cell into a sphere cell so you are transposing from cross cylinders into a sphere cell okay so let's say i am giving prescription as minus 2 okay axis 180 and I'm also I'm having minus, so let me say plus 4, axis 90. Okay, this has two cylinders, so it is a cross cell. I am to transpose them into a sphere cell. Okay, where I have only one sphere and one cylinder. So, how do I do it? The first thing is that look at the two cylinders because they are cross cylinders. Look at the two cylinders. Which of them is having the higher power? Which of them is having is, is more plus? Which one is bigger? You understand? So in this case, plus four is bigger. So the plus four is the more plus. So I'll pick that one first. So that the, the more the higher plus becomes my sphere part or my sphere component. So here plus four is my sphere. Combine it. So at first then I looked at the two cylinders. Which one of them is having the more plus? Plus four is having is bigger than plus two. So, so plus four is the more plus. I bring it here. Okay, what do I do next? Now I will take the plus four from the two that I didn't take. You understand? So I will subtract this one from what I didn't take. So I'll have what? Two minus this four that I didn't take. Okay, so two minus the four. Then I'll pick the others of the one I didn't take as the more plus. Okay. So the one I'm taking the four from, I'll pick it as this. So I pick the four from two. So I'll, I'll pick the axis of the two. So axis 180. 
You understand? So that will be plus four. Okay, combine with two minus four will give me minus two axis one eighty. Now I am having a little sphere in a cylinder. So this is fuel cell. So for cross cell of this prescription, this is the the the, the, the fuel cell part or the fuel, the fuel cell transformation of it. Let's go to another example. So example two. Let's say I have minus four, okay, axis ninety, and I have minus two axis 180 okay now this is a cross cylinder because i have two cylinders here and i'm to transpose them into a sphere cell only one sphere and the rule is that always i pick the higher plus so here to i'll pick the more plus so which is the more plus minus two why because you must always assume as a number on a number line this is zero okay this is one this is two this is three this is minus one this is minus two minus three minus four now as i'm going here the number will be increasing so minus two and minus four which one is the more plus minus two because that one's approaching a positive number okay so the minus two becomes a higher plus so it's not like always to be given the length in plus form repeat higher plus no they can be negative they can combine negative numbers they give, but the, the point is that the two numbers that are given if they get negative we have the more plus the more plus means the one approaching zero so here minus two is my higher plus so this might minus two i'll pick the minus two here so minus two becomes my sphere okay and i'll take the minus two from the minus four that didn't take as a sphere so in this case i'll have what minus four minus minus two because this one is minus so i will subtract the minus two from minus four so to minus four minus minus two and now pick the one the, the alpha of the one that I didn't take as a sphere as a, as, a, as a sphere so in this case i didn't take um two okay i didn't take the two so i i took two but i didn't take the four as a higher plus i took minus two from this one okay and i'm going to take it from the minus four so i'll pick the axis of this one that I didn't take as a sphere and then you make a quality of free and then find the axis and now send the amount funnel as minus two uh, as a more plus mark of corner axis so that's here so it's 90. so my final minus two combine with so minus four uh minus minus, minus to be like minus four plus two which is something as minus two axis 90. okay so this is this is the, the, the spherical form of the lens uh, cross cell of this part last example so example three this i have minus two Combine with axis 80 and I have um, plus 2 axis 90. This is a cross cell because I'm having two, I'm having two cylinders. Now if I want this fuel cell, I always go with a more plus. So minus 2 and plus 2 times more plus. Plus 2. So I'll pick plus 2. That's my sphere part. Okay. Good. And what I'll do is that I'll take the plus 2 for minus 2. So what happens is that I'll have minus two okay minus two because the amount fun as a more plus and then we already can you know what you're hiding a frame into my minus two now mom for a may as a more plus but you really kind of number now my two we're not hiding a frame okay it's a very minus two minus two minus this number and this near mom fun as the sphere and then a mom fun Mom for minus two in my favorite as a as 180. So I have here is plus two combined with what minus four axis 180. So this is a sphere, a sphere so why? Because I, I only have one sphere and I have the slender, so it's a sphere cell. So this is a cross cell, and I've been able to transpose to a sphere cell. So always when I'm giving the cross cell, pick the more plus combine with okay. Um, and, and take it from the one you take and pick the eyes of the one you take as a spherical component. Thank you.